Hi, I'm Mark Monroe of Partial Pressure Products and PPO2.com. In this segment of our video series on the Gorilla Diving Products PO2 monitor, we're going to take a close look at the housing, PO2 display board, and also the optional heads-up display as shipped from Gorilla Diving Products. So let's take a look. Here we have a Gorilla Diving Products PO2 monitor. We have the housing with display board installed and also the optional external heads-up display. It should be noted that there are two different display boards and housings. There's the left side display board and housing and there is also a right side display board and housing. Let's take a look at the housing. You can see it's a cylindrical design. We have a clear outer acrylic housing that gives you full view to the internals of the housing. On one end we have a hole drilled through that allows you to attach a lanyard. And on the opposite end we have a retaining cap. Also is the control button, the wiring to the optional external heads up display, and this housing is set up as a ambient pressure housing. I have installed a fitting for a standard first stage regulator hose. Let's attach a standard first stage regulator hose. One of the nice features of this is that it allows you to rotate the housing through 360 degrees giving you full view to the internals of the housing and also allows you to adjust so that you can see the digital panel meter for the output of your sensors. To remove the outer housing we unscrew the retaining cap, grasp the hose and the outer acrylic housing and pull that removes the outer acrylic housing. Now this is a double o-ring sealed housing. I have removed one of the o-rings. You can see the o-ring groove here. This is the o-ring. Taking a look at the back of the housing, we can see the battery compartment. Inside the battery compartment is a ridge that keeps the 9 volt battery away from the back side of the board. You can also see that I have installed the wiring for the 9 volt battery and the wiring for the optional external heads up display. This wiring goes through a hole in the display board, comes out the other side, and these wires are attached to this header connector. There's another hole at the top. This hole would be for your sensor wires. Your sensors would attach to this header connector. Should it be necessary to replace the board in the field, you would disconnect your sensors, disconnect your wires, remove this one screw, remove your board, install your backup board, reinstall the screw, reinstall your wires, connect your sensors, calibrate your sensors, and you're ready to go. So let's install a 9 volt battery. See the 9 volt battery installed in the housing. Reinstall the clear acrylic housing. Reinstall the retaining cap. And we're ready to go. Taking a look at the external heads up display, we have a rubber boot for shading, hardware for mounting to a DSV, a 90 degree elbow, and again the quick disconnect hardware. Now in the subsequent video we'll describe the full operation of the board. Right now we'll power it up so that you can see it in operation. All functions for the board are controlled through the one control button. In order to turn power on, you rotate the control button clockwise until power comes on. When power comes on, you'll see all the LEDs light, digital panel meter will come on, backlight to the digital panel meter will come on. That will put a full load on the battery. Your battery voltage will then be displayed on the digital panel meter. It will then go into standard operation. 
So let's turn power on by rotating the control button. All LEDs are on. Battery voltage is displayed. We go into standard operation. That is the Gorilla Diving Products PO2 monitor. If you have any questions, you could email us. Contact us at charles at gorilladiving.com or mark.monroe at ppo2.com. Thank you.